Hey everyone, it's Jamie. So we've hit pretty much the four week mark of self quarantining, uh, social distancing. So really it's been a month of, you know, isolation. And um, I don't know about all of you guys, but I've had to do a little work. So uh, there's some stuff I can do from home, but there's other things I have to be at my workplace to do. So I have gotten out a little here and there, um, you know, try to stay as safe as possible, etc. cetera. Um, but it's still really, really weird, right? I mean, I hear people throwing the word, the word around surreal. Um, yeah, bizarre. Um, unbelievable, all of the above, right? So um, we've all had a lot of time on our hands. Um, you can only watch so many things on streaming service and you can only play so many video games. Uh, you can only do so many Zoom meetings with your friends or your family. And uh, sometimes you just have to get outside. Like, you know, I, I did post a video about um, getting outside and appreciating nature. Um, but today what I just want to just briefly touch on is living in the moment. Now, if anything can teach us about living in the moment, it's having to spend a lot of time by yourself. We really have the opportunity to really understand what we feel is really important, what we really value in our lives. And I'm sure for many of us, it's our interactions with those we love our family and our close friends. And for most of us, we really can't see everybody like we normally do. So it's super distressing, but it also affords us some time for self-reflection, for some introspection. And just today, I was outside for about two hours. Um, I was in the backyard and it was sunny, it was in the mid 50s. And I just had like a real overwhelming sense of my own inability to live in the moment. And this is something that I've, you know, touched on here and there when I was, you know, in some deep thought, had some moments where I wasn't thinking about something that I was about to do or something I had to do at work or some conflict I had with somebody in my life. Um, I really, really had some time to say, you know what? You need to learn to live in the moment. So I did my best to do that. What I did was I took a deep breath and I looked up at the trees that are blooming now in the Northeast. We're here in uh, on Long Island in New York and uh, all the buds are coming out on the trees. So I just did a 360. I just very slowly spun myself around, looking at all the bushes coming to life and the trees and the beautiful, crisp blue sky. And I said to myself, you are here right now. And this is so beautiful. It's so comfortable. The sun feels great. Um, the air is nice and clear. This is a beautiful moment. And I just realized that I need to do that more often. I need to find the value in every moment, even when I'm doing something that I don't really want to do, that I have to do, or when I'm interacting with someone that I'm not that crazy about. I need to learn to find the value in every moment because I think that really really helps us to understand that our lives are full of meaning and they're full of value every second of our lives. And this craziness has just really given me an opportunity to focus on that. So I'd invite you to whatever you're doing, wherever you are, especially during the, these times of isolation and social distancing, take a moment if you're reading a book, if you're watching TV, pause it, put the book down and just say, 
Thank you for this moment. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God, whatever you believe in. Thank you for this moment. And help me to really value and appreciate every moment because every moment is a gift and we can find value and we can find meaning in every moment of our lives and I invite you to do that every day just to try to become aware of it and just bask in that moment and realize that every moment has value.